What's up, you guys? Grand rising, everybody. How y'all feeling? Welcome back, those of you that's returning, and welcome to Be True Tarot. If you are new and you're tapping in with us for the first time, let's get into your messages for today. See what's going on. Keep an open mind. This is a general collective reading. Everything you hear may not necessarily be for you. Take what's for you and leave the rest for somebody else out there. All right, feel free to apply the roles, apply the genders, apply, apply the pronouns as you see fit. The roles are interchangeable as well. What's up, collective? What's going on with y'all? What's up, sugar dumplings? <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for all the likes, comments, shares, subscribes. Thank you guys so much for all the cash apps, the Venmos, the personal bookends. I appreciate it all. Thank you guys for all your support. Thank you guys for also um, becoming members of my Patreon and OnlyFans, all right? I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. All right, let's get into it. Even though this is titled for Thursday, um, whenever you come across it is when it may resonate with you the most, all right? So even though it is marked for Thursday, whenever you see it is when it may resonate the most. All right? All right. All right? All right. All right. All right, guys, let's get into it. I feel like I got ashes everywhere. Ashes, ashes, ashes. All right. I'm hearing ashes, ashes. We all fall down. I don't know. Something here could be coming up. Maybe a tower moment is approaching. I'm hearing ashes, ashes. We all fall down. I don't know. There could be a group an organization that is crumbling okay there you go empress and the star okay we have the empress and the star what's up divine feminine you guys could be libras you could be a taurus you could be an aquarius you can have that in your chart okay libra gemini aquarius taurus okay What's up, Empress? What's up, Divine Femme? What's going on, Goddess? What's going on, Earth Angel? What's up, baby? You could be a Sagittarius, a Libra, a Taurus, an Aquarius. I was also here in Gemini. All right. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful and handsome divine collective father god thank you for this beautiful day thank you for waking us up today what messages do you have for the collective cover shield protect me as i channel this energy please and thank you didn't i say a towel was coming didn't i say that shit i i felt it i heard ashes ashes we all fall down and i literally seen the picture of the tower i saw that shit in my mind first caught out the tower we two tapped in y'all know the fucking vibes okay y'all know the vibes all right but we got the tower here boom smoke up in flames child up in motherfucking flames but things are gonna work out in your favor justice wow this is a big this is a big fucking deal here first three cards out you see these three major arcanas we got the tower the will of fortune and the justice libra energy big libra energy shout out to all the libras out there yeah Somebody here could be a Libra, somebody here could be a Scorpio, somebody here could have Libra or Scorpio placements. And then we got an Emperor in the reverse at the bottom of the day. Okay, so this Emperor in the reverse could be going through a tower. But shit, justice is about to come in for somebody. I know that's the fuck right. Okay, Ace of Swords. That's the truth. All right? Justice is about to come in. All right? There's a tower moment approaching for an Emperor in the reverse. Give me something on this Emperor in reverse. This could be a karmic, distorted masculine. Don't have to be. Again, keep in mind, we all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay? Whoever this person is, they could be scared that they're going to have a permanent ending child. All right? There's an emperor in the reverse that's scared that death is coming to them or that they're going to have some sort of permanent ending, that their life is falling apart, their life is in shambles. Somebody here could be a Gemini. Okay? This person could be a Gemini. They could be a Scorpio. They could have Gemini, Scorpio, or Aries placements. Okay, but there's an emperor in the reverse that was doing too much that's nervous now. This person is nervous that they're going to be fucked up. This person could also be an Aquarius. Okay, I'm getting Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries energy. Whoever this person is, 
they could be passing away. My condolences if this is somebody that you guys know or were once close to. Uh, but this person could definitely be passing away. But I feel like they're nervous about a permanent ending, okay? They're nervous about some sort of drastic changes, a tower moment, a permanent ending. Whoever you are, you showing up as the high priestess. And you got the Ten of Pentacles right behind you, baby. Let's really talk about it, okay? The Ten of Pentacles is right behind you. Some of you could be seeing a lot of eights, okay? Some of you could be seeing 888, 818, 808. You could be seeing a lot of eights. There's a lot of abundance surrounding you right now. A lot of abundance connected to you right now. Some of y'all could even just be finding money. Like, who the fuck is finding money in 2024? When last time you found some motherfucking money on the ground? Like real dollar bills. You know what I'm saying? Like some of y'all, you got like this stream of luck, okay? But it's like fortune, yeah, confirmation. It's like luck and fortune is on your side, baby. Ten of Pentacles, Justice, the High Priestess, Big Libra Energy. You could also be a Pisces. Shout out to my high vibrational Pisces out there. I love y'all. You could be a Libra, a Pisces, a Virgo. Or you could have that in your chart somewhere. But you got the Ten of Pentacles, High Priestess. And I feel like your intuition is telling you that. Like everything's copacetic. Like something big could be happening. There's a big change when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your stability. Okay, positive changes, forward movement, right? Somebody here has been sending you the evil eye. Somebody here been trying to come for you. This emperor of reverse been sending you the evil eye, trying to come for you. Really trying to cause issues for you. Spirit said, uh-uh, uh-uh. Easy there, tiger. This cycle closed out. All right? This cycle is closed out. What you doing is unfair, sugar. You got to be. Come on now. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> okay? Spirit said, don't do that. Emperor in the reverse. This cycle has closed out. I don't know what you think you're doing, baby, but this cycle has closed out. You could hate this high priestess all you want. You could speak negatively and wish ill on this high priestess all you want. You not liking this high priestess is not going to stop God from blessing them. Okay? Understand that, collective. Anybody that don't like you, it don't fucking matter. How people feel about you is none of your concern. It's none of your business. It's not going to make or break you. Okay? For real. They don't fucking matter. They're non-motherfucking factors. God says somebody not liking you would never stop him from blessing you. Whoever this emperor in the reverse is, they thought that them not liking you was supposed to stop God from blessing you. Apparently, this is somebody that thought they was God. This is somebody that could have some sort of um, God complex is what I'm hearing. Okay, and yeah, low vibrational Aquarius tend to have God complexes. So, you know, and there's no shade to my Aquarius. I love my air signs, but high vibrational, you know, this is a low vibrational Aquarius, a Gemini, a Scorpio, or an Aries, or they have that in their chart. But whoever this person is, they get in the boot, child. Okay, this motherfucker get in the boot. NHS, a Durango at that. Okay, like spirit is really putting the boot in somebody's chest and somebody's motherfucking heart at this point. Whoever this person is, they are heartbroken. You know, with the three of swords, they are heartbroken. This person feels defeated in some way. They they heartbroken, child. This person is heartbroken, okay? Maybe because they got to give something to you or something being given to you. Yeah, there's a king of cups in the reverse that's watching you collected. This person could be a cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or they could have that in their chart. So there could be a water sign, an Aquarius, an Aries that's watching you. Somebody with that in their chart. Multiple people here watching you. Somebody here is super jealous of you. A queen of wands in reverse, super jealous of you. Somebody here could be a Sagittarius, Leo, or an Aries woman. Or they could have that in a chart. But somebody here know that you, you, come on, baby. I'm hearing Brandy. Sitting, and Brandy, she's an aqua, right? I believe our sister Brandy is an Aquarius, okay? Sitting on top of the world, top of the world, top of the world, top of the world. Top of the world. And I just saw 9-11 on the clock, all right? And 9-19. Some of y'all could be seeing 9 one 9 19 But if you have, then this may be your message, sugar. But I'm hearing sitting on top of the world, top of the world, top of the world, top of the world. Sitting on top of the world. Yeah, high priestess, whoever you are, you sitting on top of the world. Straight like that. Earth angel energy. You know the vibes. You know the motherfucking vibes. Yes, you do, darling. You know the motherfucking vibes. All right? You know what it is. And somebody here is heartbroken. You hear me? 
The devil cannot collect. The devil cannot have you. Okay? I'm hearing that. What's that song? Oops, there goes a nun up on a tree. Oops, there goes a nun up on a tree. Oops, there goes. What movie was that from? Somebody here could be watching. I don't know what movie that was from. Oops, there goes a nun up on a tree. Oops, there goes. I feel like that was a movie with either Martin or Will Smith in it. It wasn't Bad Boys. I don't know what movie that was. Oops, there goes a nun up on a tree. All right, well, whatever. Oops, okay. The devil can't collect. The devil can't have you, okay? Bye-bye, you dirty, nasty, big, filthy, stanky motherfucker, you. <laughs> no, let me stop. <laughs> no, but for real, though, the devil can't collect. The devil can't have you. No bullshit. Devil in the reverse, ace of cups reverse. And these motherfuckers is depressed, okay? So all of these people here that work for him downstairs are depressed. I told you. Didn't I say? I called it before the fucking cards came out. This is a collaboration, a group of people, an organization. They all crumbling. Everybody involved is falling. This Emperor in the Reverse is falling. This King of Cups in the Reverse is falling. This Queen of Wands in the Reverse is clutching her motherfucking fake ass pearls. This devil is mad. Somebody here is depressed. Somebody here was abusing their power and authority and get shit out of it. Somebody here could be a Taurus or they could have Taurus in HR. This could even be like a um an organization. This could be an organization, a coven, a group. This is a group effort, a collaboration, and everybody fucking falling. And whoever you are, high priestess, you are getting major blessings. Four of wands. You're getting major blessings. Four of wands. You could be seeing 1111, but you're getting major fucking blessings. You could also be seeing 111. You guys could be seeing 1111 or 111. Okay, I'm hearing that a lot of you that resonate with this energy, you've been under spiritual attack and God is telling you like the universe is basically telling you like you should know that you got something big and beautiful on the way or else the enemy would not be bothering you like this. The enemy would not be coming for you as hard if you ain't have something crazy major good some something something crazy good something major on the way excuse me 12 22 on the clock some of you could be seeing a lot of twos as well okay what's up so try so fam if y'all pay attention to my community tab y'all know i've been posting my little sightings that i receive every day right i've been seeing a lot of angel numbers on buses lately okay i caught 222 on a bus i caught 77 on the bus you know what I'm saying? But yeah, some of y'all definitely seeing them twos. 1222 was on the clock just a moment ago. But uh, you receiving in a big way, four wands. Whatever you've been wishing for, praying for, trying to manifest. Oh, it's coming in. You calling it in. It's coming in. It's yours. It's time for you to shine. You know what I'm saying? It's time for you to get what's yours. You say, yeah, I'm just straight taking what's mine. <laughs> okay? You know what I'm saying? It's time for you to shine. You just out here taking what's yours. Taking what's mine. God said it's mine. It's up for grabs. I can have it. Yeah, somebody here doing hella spell work and that shit is not working. They hella tired and they hella mad. They hella pressed. They hella stressed. Y'all motherfuckers is tired. Y'all motherfuckers is mad. Y'all motherfuckers is bound. Y'all stagnant. Y'all falling. Y'all crumbling. Y'all going out sad. <laughs> oh, they about to be doing real bad. <laughs> okay. These motherfuckers is pressed. Panini pressed. Okay. Big stress. Not blessed. Okay. I'm telling you, they trying to hit it. They trying to hit you so hard and they keep missing. They keep missing. Why? Because they got to go through God to get to you, high priestess. And they ain't going to win when they get to him. They ain't going to win. Yeah. Somebody here just keep trying. Oh, you poor baby. Poor baby, okay? Poor babies. You know, somebody here could have thought there was power in numbers. It's all of us against you. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean, okay? There could be a whole motherfucking SWAT team going against God. It wouldn't matter. <laughs> it wouldn't matter how many people going against God because that's who y'all coming for. Yep. You protected you so protected you are protected boundaries have been set in place okay your ancestors have received their orders god has been sending in his biggest soldiers, his biggest warriors his troops his soldiers 
when I tell you, you got protection at every fucking angle, front, back, side to side, center. I'm telling you, you G'd up from the motherfucking feet up, straight up. That's what's up. <laughs> but nah, no funny shit is really like that. Y'all really built like that. Y'all really protected like that. Y'all really cloak like that. You got the armor of Christ on you like that. I'm hearing you a big stepper for Christ. I'm telling you, high priestess, you could really pop your shit. You know what I'm saying? You could pop your collar. Well, ever since I can remember, I've been popping my collar. Popping, popping my collar. Popping my collar. <laughs> Shout out to Juicy J. All right. But yeah, motherfuckers is mad. There's a Gemini that's mad, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, an Aries, a water sign, Sagittarius. They all mad. Oh, y'all mad. A Taurus, Capricorn, so many damn people. They all mad at this one empress. You got grown ass men out here feeling like straight bitches when it comes to you, empress. They mad. You got grown ass men out here pressed, big fucking mad about you, empress, because you solo dolo. Mr. Solo Dolo, Mrs. Solo Dolo, day and night, what, what? Some of y'all could be listening to Kid Cudi, okay? I haven't listened to him in a while. But yeah, Nine of Pentacles Empress, Mrs. Solo Dolo. All these motherfuckers coming from for one Empress, you gotta be shitting me, okay? You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> All these motherfuckers coming for one Empress, a high priestess. An earth angel that's getting justice. God said you will win in front of them. You will win in front of them. And if somebody don't know that they under judgment, trust and believe they know now. And if you don't know, now you know. Okay? If you don't know, now you know. These motherfuckers is under heavy judgment. It's up from here. It's up from here. And they ain't got no protection. See, you got protection. They don't. They losing it. As if they had any protection, they losing that shit. Somebody here restless. They chest hurting just thinking about the fact that they couldn't take you down. They fucking chest is hurting. You know what I'm saying? Somebody here nasty, tight ass briefs all in the crack of they stank ass. They so fucking mad. Yeah, there's a king of wands in the reverse that's unhappy. You know what I'm saying? This could be somebody in your family that was even coming for y'all. Or for some of y'all, this could even be somebody you had children with or shared a home with at some point. This person mad because you got a new beginning and they can't come. There's a queen of pentacles in the reverse, a money-hungry, gold-digging-ass bitch that could be mad because this person is separating from them. Somebody here ready to take a leap of faith and come towards you. For some of you, you have a masculine that's interested in you and they could be leaving a gold digger behind. And she mad. She mad because she know that you and this person actually really do belong together. She mad because she know that you and this person will actually really build a beautiful connection together. She like, oh my God, he going to take care of her. What about me? And it's like, girl, he leaving just because of that mindset. He know that you using him. That's why he leaving, you dummy. Yeah, we got the five of pentacles here and a nine of wands. Somebody is a dummy. This queen of pentacles in the reverse is a dummy. She just wants somebody to take care of her. He like, I'm out. I'm not doing this with you. <laughs> All these people stuff. All these people do is gossip, talk shit, send you the evil eye, project, say nasty, negative shit about you. These people are pathetic. They're miserable. Bro, like, y'all don't have jobs? Like, I'm confused. Like, I, that's what I really be wanting to ask. Do any of these motherfuckers got real fucking jobs? Do y'all have careers? Do y'all have children? Like, what is going on? Because you got way too much time on your hands to be so focused on somebody else's life. I mean, my goodness. All right, the chair reverse, three of cups reverse. These motherfuckers are stuck, are stagnant, nothing is moving forward in their life. Whoever you are, you 10 steps ahead of these motherfuckers per use. Okay, you very tapped in, you very intuitive, you definitely are gifted with discernment. And with the queen of swords here, you, you intelligent, you too smart. You intuitive, but you also very intelligent. These motherfuckers can't get nothing over on you. You know what the fuck is going on. Somebody here think they clever, they think they sneaky. You know what the fuck is going on? Somebody here trying to figure out how they going to start conflict. What can they do? Nothing. Okay, go sit your ass down. Motherfuckers been telling y'all to sit y'all rabbit asses down and y'all just won't, y'all just won't sit down. So now you got to actually be put down. You could have just volunteered. You could have just sat down. But now you have to actually be put down. 
You should have sat down, man. You should have sat down. Because God going to have to lay your ass the fuck out. He going to have to put you down. Like you some fucking wild animal, a wild boy. He going to have to put your ass down. He going to have to lay your ass the fuck out. It's time for your tranquilizer shot. <laughs> Ciao. You better back down before you get smacked down. You better chill. Chill and I mean it. Somebody name could start with a J. Somebody here name could be Jill. Somebody here, I'm hearing Jilly from Philly. Maybe somebody from Philly. I don't know, you guys. But I'm hearing my girl Jill Scott. Somebody name could be Scott. Somebody last name could be Scott. Last or first. That could be a last or first name. Okay, but I'm hearing, you better back down before you get smacked down. You better chill. Chill and I mean it. You better back down before you get smacked down. You better chill. Chill and I mean it. <laughs> Motherfuckers need to chill. Okay? God says sit down before I have to lay your ass the fuck out. Before I have to put you down. <laughs> Child, it's about to go down. Okay? It's about to go down. Yeah, these motherfuckers is immature. And what makes it so crazy is some of these people could be married. Some of these people could be in a couple. Yeah, courtship in a reverse. Some of these people could actually be going through a divorce now. Or somebody's spouse is passing away, like I had said. Somebody here going to spend their last day. Their days is numbered, child. Somebody here is scared. They feel like death is on the way. Maybe somebody's sick. They don't feel well. They know that it's coming. Somebody here know that they about to. They know their time is up. They know they fucking ticket getting punched. I'm telling you, somebody here knows that shit for a fact. Somebody here is scared about an ending. Somebody here is definitely scared about an ending coming to them. Some sort of permanent ending with that ten of swords and that death energy, that nine of swords. It's heavy paranoia and anxiety for somebody. And this could be somebody's husband or wife that's in that energy. But we got mature woman and mature man in the reverse. So you mean to tell me y'all motherfuckers is up there in age acting like this? 22 22 on the clock again with the twos you mean to tell me y'all motherfuckers is up there in age acting like this you need your ass be you know what i'm saying you supposed to be these are your golden years you supposed to be taking cruise taking trips and going on cruises and shit renewing y'all vows and shit y'all out here working for the fucking devil and bothering a young empress a young high priestess y'all motherfuckers is crackheads for that like, no bullshit. That's why your marriage falling apart now. And that's why your house is in is, is in disarray. Everything is disordered. That's why y'all going through a divorce now. That's why somebody passing away now. It don't pay to be evil. It don't pay to be wicked, man. But you will pay. You understand me? Yeah. Fucking immature old motherfuckers. Mad immature. Supposed to be looking after your grandkids and shit. You know what I'm saying? Checking shit off your bucket list. You out here fucking with somebody. You should be ashamed of yourself. These people could have um legal issues. Somebody here in despair because they couldn't steal something from you. So now they got legal issues. They in despair because they don't want to be in poverty. They was willing to take some shit from you to make sure that they wasn't in poverty. The fuck out of here. The fuck out of here. <laughs> you better back down before you get smacked down. You better chill. Chill and I mean it. Whoever you are collective, you held in high honor. Okay? I'm hearing some of y'all about to go from rags to riches. Rags to riches. Champagne kisses. Okay? Man, I sh man this shit is fucking ridiculous. Okay? Fucking ridiculous. I'm so appalled. Yeah, this shit is appalling. I'm appalled too. These old wicked motherfuckers. Thieves and shit. You that old stealing shit from people or, or working together with people trying to steal something from somebody. You need your old ass beat. And honestly, I don't give a fuck how old you are. They need to lock your asses up. I wouldn't give a fuck if you was, se if you was 70, anything between 70 to 90. Bitch, you going to jail. You still going to jail. <laughs> but we got to give here, okay? Whoever you are, you held in high honor. There's a lot of changes, positive changes coming into your life. 
you are a gift and you're receiving a gift as well okay but i'm hearing that you are a gift something been owed to you for a long time and somebody here didn't want you to get this this is something here could have been owed to you since you was a child okay some of y'all could also be moving or something significant about a house, a confirmation, something significant about a wealthy man. Some of y'all going to be partnering up with a wealthy man, especially with this lover's energy. Yeah. Okay. And your ancestors is knocking niggas heads off. Your ancestors is gunning for motherfuckers. Your ancestors is coming for motherfuckers. And I'm telling you, somebody here going through a divorce or they losing their actual spouse due to a permanent ending. Told you. What I said, somebody here is going through a divorce or they're losing their spouse due to a permanent ending. This shit is over. It's done for me. Throw nail in the motherfucking coffin. 911. Someone please call 911. Okay, I'm hearing Y Clef. Someone please call 911. Yeah, call 911. Call them. All right, man down, pimp in distress, 32, 35. I'm telling you, somebody here going the fuck down, okay? It's going to be a lot of slow singing and flower bringing. Yeah, somebody here could be getting a message right now and somebody in their family passed away. So for some of you collective that resonate with this message, this could even be a married couple in your family. Take it as it resonates. But one of these motherfuckers is about to go. One of them got to go because they was doing too much to you. They've been trying to take shit from you. Something that's supposed to be given to you for a very long time for some of y'all. Very long time. Very, very long time, baby. A very, very long time. All right. A very, very long time. Something was supposed to be given to you. To you. Let's get you some angel numbers and I'm going to close this out. This was a quick message. We we ain't even 30 minutes in. All right. Any angel numbers for the collective at this time? Holy Spirit. Okay. We got 5151. 5151. Okay. Some of y'all can be seeing 5151 optimism. So be optimistic during this time. Okay, collective, make sure y'all being optimistic because everything is truly working out in your favor. You better act like you know that. You better act like you fucking know. We got 666, reflect. Some of y'all could be seeing that number as well. Then we got 22, there go them twos. And we got 222. Two, two. I, didn't I tell you y'all seeing a lot of twos? Didn't I say that shit? Y'all seeing a lot of fucking twos. And we literally got 222 two, two, and then we got 22. Okay, that's five twos right there in a row coming out together i can't make this shit up y'all know the vibes y'all know the vibes y'all know what it is y'all know what this is man y'all know what it is man y'all know what it is man y'all know what it is man that's too many i ain't gonna take that many i only want one more spirit can i get one more ancient number for the collection can i just get one more one more please Okay, we got 1010, faith, all right, 1010, uh, this cycle has ended, it's completed, okay, that's that 1010 as well, completion, you saw all those major arcanas that came out, the tower, the will of fortune, like, justice, like, I'm telling you, something is like done, it's done, it's a wrap, it's a wrap, okay, and somebody here fought to the very end, to the fucking death of them, literally, all right, y'all. 51, 51, child. Let's see. 51, 51. Optimism. Optimism. It says, you're on the right path. Keep your chin up and stick with that positive way of thinking. Your goals are within reach. However, there may be quite a few obstacles on the way. Staying optimistic and flexible with your options is the answer. This is you channeling positivity towards a desired goal, noticing possibilities in unexpected places, big changes and future opportunities, breaking free of limiting beliefs. All right. Your affirmation says, I take action and trust my instincts. Yes. I take action and trust my instincts. I take action and trust my instincts. As the fuck you should. 
We got 666, reflect. It says lots of folks get a bit worried when they see this number, but it's actually a message of reflection. Your angels are asking you to take a step back to hit the pause button with that greater distance, examine your current circumstances. Are you headed in a direction that speaks to your truth? Do your relationships lift you up? Does your job fulfill you or have you instead been putting your energy into things that simply don't work for you any longer? This is your sign to be honest with yourself and make the changes that speak to your higher self. This is you taking time and reflect on your circumstances, putting your energy into necessary changes, honesty, and stripping away any illusions. This is a signal to pay attention to your needs. Your affirmation says, I am aligned, divine, and my life is right on time. I am aligned, divine, and my life is right on time. I love that. Y'all know I love that. I am aligned, divine, and my life is right on time. What, what? Okay. What, 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 what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. 222 alignment. It says connection makes everything so much more beautiful. This is a very welcome call to find harmony in all aspects of your life and your body. Seek to balance your mental, emotional, and physical needs. Socially, try to find your foot in both on a level of personal relationships and in your broader community. Even within your own intentions, there's a harmony to be found between building solid foundations and remaining open to growth and change. Duality and cycles are part of life, of every journey. Embrace it. This says alignment on various levels, connecting your inner self to something higher, reaching out to and accepting input from others, and this is striking a balance that works for you. Your affirmation says, my life is a constant blessing. My life is a constant blessing. Some of you guys, I've been seeing a lot of twos. Your affirmation is, my life is a constant blessing. I love that. My life is a constant blessing. Yes, everything about your life is blessed, collective. You are so favored. You are so loved. 22, harmony. Okay, more duality. These two speaks of duality. It says duality is a part of the human experience. The challenge lies in finding a harmony among all your beautiful facets. This is a call to address any imbalances that may be throwing your energy out of whack. Are you open to the connections around you? This says you're surrounded by loving energies and newfound wisdom. You are adapting to strike a balance in your life. You are understanding and it says understanding and reciprocity in relationships. Seeking, so you're going to have some equal give and take uh, relationships in your life collective. A lot of you are meeting members of your soul tribe. But it says you are seeking connections and collaborations. Your affirmation says, I am grateful for the love that surrounds me. Okay, y'all know what I'm about to start singing, child. I'm hearing that song by Monica. I got love all over me. Okay, yeah, collective, you got love all over you. You got love surrounding you, and you are grateful for the love that surrounds you, the love that lives within you. Your heart chakra is healed, baby. I'm hearing a lot of you did a lot of work on your heart chakra, your heart space, and now you're doing things with love instead of for love. You're not looking for love in the wrong places. You are love. You embody love. You love yourself so much, collective. A lot of self-love, self-preservation is what I'm hearing. All right. Let's see. 10, 10. 10, motherfucking 10. What's that talking about? We about to find out. We about to find out. Okay, it says faith. All right, collective, you have faith, right? I know my divine collective has, has faith. But it says, support is always there for you from your loved ones and from the very universe itself. When you feel overwhelmed or mad in negativity, this number may make its way to you. Let this gentle reminder sink in. You have the tools you need to see it through. Your comfort zone will always be there when you need it. But you should step outside it more often. Growth requires movement and bravery. Remember, you are safe and supported. It says overcoming fears and trying new things, confidence, bravery, and trust. Reminder of your ability to keep going. You are stepping outside of your comfort zone. Your affirmation says, I choose courage over fear and peace over protection. I choose courage over fear and peace over protection. Okay, collective, period. Those are your angel numbers for today. But I hope this message has been guided towards those of you that needed to hear it. 
I hope this is giving you some sort of confirmation, clarity, or guidance. I love you guys oh so much. Happy Thursday again. I'm going to talk to you guys soon. Peace.